This is the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less. Ever wish you could re-listen to your favorite interview or segment? Do you enjoy hearing older shows for the first time in years? Then the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less is just what you need. Thanks for listening and enjoy the show. Hello, friends. Thanks for joining me here at the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less. I'm your host, John Solberg, and I'm happy to tell you that this show is brought to you by The Butcher Shop. Purveyors of highly sought after 100% Australia non crossbred YYR 9 Plus briskets that are always hand picked just for you. The Butcher Shop has been retailing the finest meats for more than 15 years. Every week, they're shipping out competition quality meats to many of the biggest teams in the competition scene across the nation. Simply put, teams who use the butcher shop win, and they win often. You don't have to be a competitor to enjoy the finer cuts in life. The butcher shop is shipping some of the finest prime, dry-aged, Australian Wagyu, and Japanese Wagyu steaks to people just like you and me who aspire to be the kings and queens of the backyard. The Butcher Shop always has Berkshire, Compart Duroc, Allegiance Duroc, and Prairie Fresh all-natural pork in stock. And again, it is always hand-picked just for you. So let's review. The best competition briskets? Check. The best pork selection? Check. Giving you better overall options to cook at home? Check. So give The Butcher Shop a call today. 850-458-8782. That's 850-458-8782. You mentioned the Barbecue Central Show. You're getting 10% off your entire order each and every time you call. You can also go check them out on Facebook. Facebook.com slash The Butcher Shop. Shop is spelled S-H-O-P-P-E. The Butcher Shop, home of the 100% Australian non-crossbred YBR 9 Plus Biscuits. And here, let's take a step back to 2015. On the eve of the Jack, which just happens to be today, fast forward nine years. Ward here. And for those of you tuning in to a special Saturday edition of the really big barbecue show, you know that the Jack Daniels is going down to Lynchburg, Tennessee, and thought we would grab somebody that is taking part and hoping to walk away. With the Grand Championship also sitting in second place overall for KCBS Team of the Year, we race over to the hotline for a few minutes and grab the pitmaster of the American Dream Barbecue Team, David Qualls, joining us here on the show. David, how are you, buddy? Morning, bud. How are you? I'm doing absolutely fabulous, David. Appreciate you uh, making time here for the show this morning. We don't normally do the old Saturday morning really big barbecue show. (laughs) But uh, when you have no an event, when you have an event like the Jack Daniels, uh, you got to pull out all the stops here to make sure the listenership is happy. So, David, talk to me a little bit about uh, the morning, how it's going, and, and how you're feeling leading up to turn-ins uh, a little bit later today. Well, I am seasoning ribs as we speak, wearing my Bluetooth earpiece. So um, it's it's good. Uh, turn-in times are 30 minutes later than normal, which kind of throws you off. If they're even hour, it, it, to me, it's a little easier, but. Right now, you know, we'll do chicken at 12.30 and uh, ribs at 1, pork 1.30, brisket 2. Then I think they do dessert like at 2.30. And so that's a little different. It's throwing our timelines off, but it has let me sleep about 30 minutes later, too. But nobody sleeps the night before the jack. You know, too much, too giddy. When will, do you have an idea of when the announcements of uh, overall will, and, and the categories, of course, will be taking place today? Well, this is only my second jack, but last year awards started at five o'clock central. And I think it took, it probably took 30, 40 minutes of all the, of of the welcoming and thinking and, and going through some, some uh, recognition process and honoring some people that have passed on that have been involved in the jack. So it's about an hour and a half long award process process. You are a contest uh, creator, promoter, aside from being a championship barbecue cook, David. In regards to the award ceremony, I know you're a guy that likes to kind of get in there, get through it, and then kind of be on your way. Do you have to, do you think that Brown Foreman has to kind of run that fine line of making sure they take the time to do all of that stuff, or would you like to see it sped up and, and kind of get through it? Oh, no. I, I mean, you know, it's the Jack Daniels. It's once a year. If it takes an hour and a half to do awards and recognize everybody, that's just, that's, that's, that's part of it. You know, to me, it would be disrespectful as a cook to holler, hurry up, hurry up. You know, it's a once a year deal. We're honored to be here. And so, yes, but I do think at a regular contest, a lot of teams like to get the awards done and get it over with, but 
still as an organizer, if you've got sponsors, you need to think that, you know, made up your prize pool and stuff. It's just a necessary evil. David Qualls you know, from you the... Gotta, you got to take her to dinner first. You know how that goes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. David Qualls joining me here on the show, Pitmaster American Dream Barbecue team for the uh, next couple minutes. Uh, David, what are you cooking on this weekend? Cooking on Jambo, and I'm cooking my ribs on a Backwoods Fat Boy. Have you noticed a, a rise in popularity, or maybe they've always been around and you're just kind of hearing about them now, the Gateway Drum Smoker? Oh, the gateway is kind of taking the storm by sensation. You know, I mean, it, it's a lot of drums hitting. Uh, obviously, in that Missouri, Kansas area, drums are really prevalent. They create a unique flavor. Uh, sometimes, in my opinion, and I cooked on a drum a couple of years ago when I was transitioning from FEs on my brisket. So, you know, you stun a lot of judges with a different flavor, but then sometimes you offend a lot of judges with that non-traditional barbecue flavor. But the drums are big. Now, I haven't seen a ton of drums here at the Jack this week, to be honest with you, though. Maybe they're hiding in the back somewhere. Could be. Could be. <laughs> Everybody's got a drum for chicken, it seems like, anymore. But I'm not seeing a lot of all can teams here, you know, like shaking bake, getting basted, you know, those kind of guys that are up with drums. David, you, you mentioned a little bit earlier the second time you've been to the Jack. If you could talk to me a bit about trying to get that best Jack experience while balancing that with really what you need to accomplish on the team side. And I guess you know what I what I mean by that is I imagine especially there in Lynchburg with all the goings on, it could be easy to kind of get lost in what's happening and who's around you and the parties and losing track potentially of the task at hand, which of course is to win the Jack. Well, it's not as party oriented as the Royal is on Friday night because you don't have that open contest, guys. It's their first night. But if you really want the Jack experience, from my opinion, is get down here on Wednesday night and get parked. Thursday, go tour the distillery, see the sites, go around, you know, get your barrel head signed, do the same thing on Friday. And uh, then Friday night, the Jack has a, an appreciation dinner for all the teams and volunteers on what they call on Barbecue Hill. And they have a couple of live music and, and uh, a dinner. And it starts like at 4.30, after, right after the parade of teams that marches through the square. Then you're over with by, oh, say, 6.37. So it's time to get down to business. And so, but I mean, it was as quiet as church out here last night at 9 o'clock. Do you have a favorite time of the weekend so far? Did Dave have a final time? A fine favorite? What do you want? I don't know. You need to find out. Head on over to the BBQCentralShow.com. There is a link in today's show notes that will take you to this complete episode. Go check that out and let me know what you think. Good luck at the Jack this weekend, everybody. And until next time on the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less. I'm your host, John Solberg, and you know I look forward to talking to you again soon.